So I decided to make a video today on how I gained 178,200 followers in just 12 months of creating content. And I'm not gonna make you sit here through some long intro, so let's just get straight into it. Um, so how did I get started, right? This is my first ever video that I posted online with my face in it. Uh, it didn't get any crazy views. I didn't really have much of a clue on what I was doing, same as any other creator that has gotten started. Um, but this is kind of where my content creation journey would start. Uh, it was sometime around this time last year. Uh, and I remember I posted my first video around starting an agency. Before that, I had already been running an agency for a little bit. Um, and I wanted to create content around how you can start an agency. Um, so yeah, I posted my first video. Did You can see on the screen right here, 1,899 views. And that's today, right? So you can, you can see like I wasn't good at it. Uh, I didn't really know which, uh, much what I was doing. So, um, but the one thing I knew with just running an agency and just doing like in the online business space is whatever you want to do, you just got to do it consistently. So I knew in the back of my head, like if I want to do this whole content thing, it's not really about this one video doing or going crazy viral. It was more so being about just being consistent and just getting better every single day. So that's kind of what I had in my head going into it. I just knew that if I did this consistently every single day, then eventually I would become good at what I wanted to do, right? So I'd get good at this whole content thing. Um, so that brings me to the next 30 days, right? I posted every day consistently uh, and mainly focused on trying to get better at talking to the camera, right? Because at first when I was talking to the camera, I didn't really, it was really awkward. Um, which is fine, that's how it is gonna be when, when you start or just anybody starts. But that was kind of one, of one of the things I wanted to get good at was kind of just feeling more comfortable in front of the camera. And the biggest struggle for me was gaining views consistently as I'd either have a video do really well and the other ones flop very hard. So if you look on the pictures right here, like 780 views, 950 views, 1,000 views, but then we have 13,000 views, right? Then 96 views and then 12,000 views, then 80 and then 80 again, right? So the issue for me was more so about getting these views consistently because before um, I would post every single day right and like I said I would have videos that get no views and then videos that would go decently viral nothing crazy but um, it was just a big uh, big difference between one video to, to the next right so the main focus for me was just trying to get consistent not even getting like a hundred thousand views, a million views every video. I just wanted to be able to consistently get like five thousand views every video, and then up that to ten thousand views every video. So that was kind of the biggest focus for me, and also the biggest challenge. Um, but the only way to really get better at that and to get to that level is essentially just posting every single day. So that's kind of what I focus on. I was just like, I'm just gonna post every day. Hopefully, I just get better at it, right? I mean, if you do it every single day, eventually you'll get good at it, right? So that's kind of what I was doing. Uh, I just post every day. Kind of had a plan into it, not too much. I was kind of just gonna learn as I get, went on. Um, but the three things that I did consistently to grow my account, number one, I would say scripting is 85% of the most important thing when it comes to creating consistently uh, viral content not even viral just like consistent content that gets a good amount of views every single time scripting is definitely 85% of it right um, after scripting out over 400 plus videos I can confidently say that this is the most important thing when it comes to creating a viral video um, and this is pretty much how I script my videos so what creates a good script uh, a really good fucking hook right uh, an example of a bad hook would be something like, here's how to get abs, right? Like if you hear, or if you're watching a TikTok and something goes like, here's how to get abs. That's so like basic, generic, like who's going to actually listen to that, you know? Whereas if you have a hook, something like this, where it's like, if you're 19 years old, kind of chubby, a little lazy, here's how you're going to get abs, right? Obviously you add that in with the tonality. Like if you heard how I just said it there, um, I said it in like, with a, with a proper tone. Um, but that's kind of one of those things that you'll learn over time. But if you set yourself up with a good script as well, um, 
that's really gonna help you out a lot, especially if you're a beginner, right? Um, but yeah, you, I see with a good hook, the best hooks are always super, super specific in the type of person that you're trying to get, right? Whereas if you look at the bad hook, here's how to get abs. It's so broad, so generic, and there's no like detail to it where the person would be like, oh, this is like, this video is meant for me, right? There's so many people that could watch the video and the people don't really resonate. Whereas like if a 19 year old that's kind of chubby and is a little lazy and he wants abs, he hears that, he's like, holy shit, this is literally meant for me. All right, that's why I put this bullet point over here where it says, this is good because you're making the person watching the video feel like it was literally made for them, making them way more likely to watch, right? Cause like, imagine, just think of the type of person you are. Maybe you're 25 years old, you work a job, uh, maybe you don't work out that much also, Mind you, this is also just depending on the type of content you create. But think of yourself, and if you watch the video and the person in that video literally described you exactly, there's a very high likelihood that you would actually watch the video now. And because you because you uh, feel that connection to the video, you end up watching the video all the way throughout. Now increasing the, or TikTok or Instagram, whatever, the algorithm would then see that uh, and then push that video out to more people, attracting more people just like you, and it'll keep pushing, 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 right? And because of how hyper-specific that hook is, um, it'll attract all these people's attention. And you might be thinking, like, how many 19-year-olds, like, chubby and a little lazy out there? There's a lot more than you think, right? So um, don't be too scared to, like, narrow down. And the thing is, on top of that, if you're creating content to try and sell some sort of coaching or whatever it is, um, the more niche and more narrow, honestly, the better, because you're going to be able to target your specific and or like your target customer. So like I said, with content, try and just narrow down your hook, because it's going to be so important to actually getting people to watch the video. Because like I said, if you go with a hook, that's like, here's how to get abs, or here's how to get rich, right? It's so vague, generic. Whereas if you did something like Here's how to get rich if you're 19 in school, don't have time, right? Like that's off the top of my head, but you just want to narrow it down and literally describe the person's like life because if the person can feel a connection instantly, right? You kind of just want to get the person to feel something. Uh, but if they feel a connection instantly, there's a way more highly likely chance um, that they're actually gonna watch the video. All right, so now that you got them hooked, right? The next thing that you need to do is give them good value. Right, so now if you have a good hook, you've gotten the viewer's attention, now just provide the value you talked about in your hook. It's very, very simple, right? So if your hook is, if you're 19 years old, kinda chubby and a little lazy, here's how you're gonna get abs, then all you're gonna do is just talk about how you're gonna get abs, right? Just provide the value that you just said. Um, very simple. Then after that, the last thing I would say is gonna be your call to action. So you always want the person to take some sort of action after your video. Uh, here's a few examples, right? Follow me for more content about losing weight, right? Follow me for more content about fitness, whatever it is, whatever your niche is. Uh, or something like comment abs if you want a free meal guide. You can use things like ManyChat, where if someone comments the word abs, um, you can set up like an automation where it'll send them like your free meal guide or whatever it is, right? Uh, and then you give them free value, and then afterwards you go and try to upsell them, right? Um, that's like off to this that's like the back end or anything but um just get the person to do something after your video or else you'll literally gain nothing from it right imagine you have a video that goes super viral and you don't tell the person to comment you don't tell the person to follow you nothing they're just watching the video and they're just gonna scroll right past so now you kind of just lost a bunch of potential leads right so what you want to do is just have some sort of call to action it can literally just be a simple follow because if it, maybe it's on instagram like TikTok followers really don't matter at all. Um, but if it's like Instagram, then you can get them to follow you and then you can uh, then you can just um, promote all your stuff within your stories um, because TikTok followers uh, or Instagram followers, they see your stories, they go watch the story, right? Maybe you're showing like client results, right? And then at the end, you do a call to action saying like, if you wanna get started this and that, then right, just message me or whatever. Um, but yeah, now you're 85% of the way or 85% of the way to going viral, right? Now you have your script. Um, and realistically, like when you're creating your script also, 
I would say focus like 90% of your time on the actual hook, right? Because the value part's not easy or it's not hard, right? Because like if you're a fitness coach, you know everything about um, like the actual like value in the video. Like you know like what to say, like this is how you're gonna lose abs and then you actually say the steps. That part's easy if you if you're know what you're talking about. Like call to action, also super easy. It's literally just like say a sentence like follow me, right? Follow me for more content. Um, but your hook is literally what you want to spend most of your time um, actually like working on because the thing is is if your hook sucks right um, then no one's gonna ever end up watching the value part of the content so you can literally have the most the best value packed video but the thing is if you can't attract the attention of the viewer then they're never even gonna watch to begin with right so you're essentially just wasting the rest of that video um, so that's why I say really just focus on the hook because if you can attack or if you can attract their attention or just grab their attention um, they'll get to watch the rest of the video and as long as you provide good value it doesn't even to be crazy good value just like decent then your video will go viral like I said the hook is literally the most important part obviously there's little retention uh, retention hack tactics that you can do um, but those really don't play that much of a big uh, part into a video going viral. A lot of people uh, kind of get stuck on like adding little retention hacks and all that type of stuff. I would say for the beginners or not even beginners, like just anyone, focus on your hook, grab the person's attention because that beginning is the most important part. From if you don't track, if you don't track their attention, they're scrolling right past. Whereas if you track their attention. And then you start providing good value. They'll start realizing the value they're getting. And then sooner, eventually they'll be like, or eventually they would have just watched the whole video, right? Cause if it's like a 30 to 60 second video, it's really quick. Um, but yeah, scripting I would say is 85% most important. And then when you're actually scripting, focus 90% of your time on the actual hook. And then the rest of the stuff, very easy. Isn't that hard. Um, the next thing we have is filming. I'd say it's 10%. Uh, a lot of people think that editing would probably be more, but just hear me out. Uh, your filming style can affect the performance so much more than you probably think. Uh, the reason this is way more important than you think is because this will stand you out from the rest of your niche's videos, right? So I was in the like the whole make money online type of niche. Um, so like, if you see a lot of the, these make money online type of people. Um, everyone just does like the talking face where uh, you just have the camera and it's literally just recording your face and nothing else um, and if you look at every creator within that niche everybody does that and everybody has the same editing style everyone has the same caption style everyone's videos are so copy and pasted um, so if you look at my before and after right here I used to film my videos just like everyone else in my niche just a talking head with the exact same captions whereas now I try to throw different camera angles to make it stand out. People get tired of seeing the same thing, so try to change something up, right? So changing the camera angle, right? Because the thing is, if a person is watching Make Money Online content, eventually they'll get fatigue, right? Because they're watching the same talking head, talking head, talking head, and every single video is pretty much just the same hooks because everyone copies the same hooks, and then the editing is the exact same, and then the camera angle is the exact same. Like, yeah, if everything is the exact same, people are just gonna get tired of it, right? So, um, what I recommend is just try changing up the angle that you record your video, right? That's just an example, but just change something in the way that you film your videos, right? You can do a POV style video. You can do um, just just something different that will stand you out from the rest, right? So for me, it was just something as simple as like putting my uh, camera on a tripod and then just like putting it all the way to my ceiling essentially uh, and then just recording from a weird angle because the thing is if you're if you're scrolling on TikTok, you see a talking head right then you see another talking head and you see another talking head and then you see you swipe and then you see my video right so it's like um you can see right here that it's me like standing it's a full like uh video of my entire body right and it's just way different from everyone else's. And the thing is when you pair that with a really good hook, right? So if I have a crazy good hook with a different style of video that 
instantly is able to grab the viewer's attention because one, it's not the exact same thing that they were just watching. And two, the hook is good and relatable and the person is like, holy shit, this video feels like it's meant for me. Right, that goes back to what I was saying about making your hook very specific, right? Like if you're making content about losing weight, you're like here, instead of here's how you're gonna uh, get abs, right? So basic, um, you go something like, here's how you're gonna get abs if you're, or if you're 19, a little chubby, a little lazy, whatever, you're saying you're gonna get abs, right? Very specific on top of having like a different style of video, of just filming your video, it's, it's gonna do a lot more than you really think. I remember, like, if you look at this, right, these are essentially the same video, like, um, the scripting's not the same, um, because from before and after, I, like, I really started to focus on my script more, but you can see, like, the engagement on this, right, like, 588,000 likes, right, that's crazy, this one, 47 likes, uh, and it's literally just these few little changes that I made that took me from going to something like this to being more consistently be or to be able to get these types of numbers consistently right so millions of views um very consistently and with millions of views you get a lot more leads for your business and you make a lot of a lot more money right um so now you're 95 percent of the way to creating viral content i'd say the next thing is going to be editing editing is five percent of having a video go viral. I see way too many people kind of just get caught up in like thinking that fancy editing is gonna make their video go viral. Like some people literally think that it's like 50% scripting, 50% editing. When it, it, it's literally the furthest from the truth, you can look some of the, at some of the top creators, they barely even, they don't even edit, right? They literally go on TikTok, throw in some captions and that's it. And it's literally just them like talking to the camera. Like they literally will just pick up the phone and then just talk to the camera. Um, to do that style of content, it requires you to be a lot more consistent because you need to do that for a very long period of time until you can actually become good with that. All right. So like I was saying, people over glorify your editing. Yes, it is important, but you don't need any fancy editing. Like if you've seen my content, it's literally just captions and memes. Like it's very, very simple. Um, like if I wanted to go even more simpler and literally just talk to the camera, I probably could and literally just spent all my time on scripting. But for me, I kind of like the whole like meme style and everything. It really stands out my content. So I'm gonna get into that as well. Um, but this is what your editing in your videos need to provide. Your editing needs to provide vis visualization for better storytelling. So that's just captions, tutorials. Uh, if you're like saying something in a video, um, either one, you need to be like very, if you're like telling like a story or just talking about something, you need to be very specific in that story. Cause the thing is, if you're like uh, telling like whatever story, like I did this and then this happened and this happened and that happened, it's very boring. Um, you can kind of get away with that if you're having visualization on the screen. So you're also showing what happened. Um, but if you're like storytelling and you're not doing any visualization, so like no tutorial video, no captions, no B-roll, no memes, like nothing, um, then you need to explain the story a lot better and go into more detail, right? So the pet so the person can better understand it. Um, but if you pair them both, right? So you like go into the story in detail and then on top have these like captions, tutorial video, B-roll and memes, all that type of stuff, it makes the video just even better. Um, but adding in these types of things just helps the person watching understand. People can understand better uh, when being shown and told at the same time, right? So imagine like you're watching content about losing weight. If someone's telling you about losing weight, uh, maybe they're telling you about like exercises or just meal plans or whatever. If you're able to also see the exercises and see the meal plans, um, you're able to better understand it compared to if the person was just telling you, right? Like imagine the person was like, Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do crunches and then you're gonna do uh, sit-ups and then you're gonna do, right? That's, you have to visualize it in your head. Whereas if you say, oh, you're gonna do crunches, you're gonna do sit-ups, you're gonna do V-ups or whatever, right? Um, and you're also showing like videos of like these exercises, people are then able to understand the video a lot more, getting them to watch the video, right? 
And then the other thing that editing in your videos need to provide is making the video your own. So what I mean by making the video your own is by having your own editing style that will differentiate your video from the meme, right? From everyone else. Uh, to do this, you just want to experiment, look at other creators' styles, take uh, take things that you like and just keep mixing them together until you have something that you like, so your own style. All right, that's kind of what I did. I looked at a lot of different creators, um, like Biaheza being one, like I liked his meme style. It was so like, I don't know, I just, I just thought it was funny. Uh, and then I also looked at other creators like Musa, if you guys know who that is. Uh, and how he did the camera angle all the way at the top. So I would just take multiple creators um, and kind of just like pair all the things that they were doing until I ended up having something that I liked. Uh, and the reason that I like saying to have your own editing style is because it also makes your video stand out from everyone else's. Like if everyone is doing the same camera angle, everyone does the same editing, like your video is just going to be literally it's gonna feel like a copy and paste to everyone else's, right? Your script might be different, but the actual visualization of the video is the exact same thing as everyone else. People are just gonna get bored of that. People are just fatigued. Whereas if you have a good script, your camera angle is different, right? Maybe that's camera angle, that could be just an example. Uh, and then your editing is different. Right now your video is completely different and you're able to show your creativity a lot more and it's kind of just like, uh, very refreshing to the viewer right whereas if they're just watching the same thing over and over right it just they get sick of it um, and the thing is if you look at a lot of the top creators right Bia has a you look at um, Jordan Welch you look at um, Iman Gazi right these guys all have their own editing styles and the thing is everyone just tries to copy them um, and that's where we see like the people that are copying these top creators, you can, you see they never go viral. The people that always become the top creators always have their own styles. They have their own filming style. They have their own editing style, right? They're their own. That is why they're one of the top creators. Whereas if you're just copying everyone, you're never going to become a top creator. You can do that in the start. Like that is completely fine when you're first starting. But after a certain point, you need to branch out and kind of create your own identity, if that makes sense, right? So that's why I say editing, like it need, literally just needs to be about helping for visualiza visualization for better storytelling and just making the video your own, right? Personalizing it to yourself, right? Like, so for me, uh, what I did is adding memes, right? Like captions is for better storytelling i have that to better tell the story and then i also have tutorial video to help like people understand uh and then also have memes also for better storytelling but at the same time um i'm able to differentiate myself from everyone else's because not a lot of people do me um, and the thing is if people start to copy my exact style with the exact same camera angle people are gonna correlate that to my. So like if I were to go and copy Iman Gazi's style and then post that, everyone would correlate that to Iman Gazi's style, right? So that's why I say, try to create your own style. Obviously, I think at the start, you wanna be testing out different things, uh, but then also keep looking around and keep just thing and then mixing and matching all these different styles. Change your camera angle, change your editing style change the captions, change the color of the captions, uh, change the way that you do your transitions, right? Just everything, just try to make it different from everyone else's. And the thing is everyone, like every creator has done almost everything. So it's hard to like make something. What you could do is just take little bits from everyone and then just pile them all together. And now you'll have your own editing style, filming style, right? So. That's kind of what I think about for editing. It, like I said, it's literally like 5%. Um, like if you look at the way of how much time you should, you should like, or how much um, like importantness, I guess you could say, um, editing is, it, I'd probably say it's like 5%. It's really not that much. Um, and yeah, th this is pretty much just the winning formula that has worked for me. All right, 108,000 uh, followers on TikTok on TikTok, uh, and then almost 70,000 followers on Instagram. I want to hit a hundred thousand, um, hoping by summertime. Uh, but we'll just see, right. Um, I'm currently making the whole switch from the whole like 
agency, make money online type of thing, to now uh, helping other creators build personal brands, whether that be creators, businesses, all that type of stuff. All right. I just want to help other people also grow on social media because I've done it for myself. On top of working with a few gym brand, like a gym brand, um, and a few other uh, brands as well. Um, but yeah, I, I've definitely been doing this for quite a while now, uh, and I hope I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this is pretty much the winning formula that's worked for me. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more that I can go on and talk about. Um, but then this video would be way too long. So I did want to touch really quick on why is growing a personal brand important, right? Um, so it allows you to sell anything as long as people like uh, like who you are and relate to you, they will buy from you, right? So if you're making content with your personal brand, uh, if people resonate with you, they just like you as a person, they'll buy from you, right? Whereas if you are growing like a fitness like clothing brand or if you're just growing like a like a company or like a business not with your face on it there's not it's more difficult to have people resonate with you like if you think of like target you don't resonate with target right you walmart you don't resonate with walmart right um so that's why a personal brand is really good because you're able to show your personality your creativity and uh you might think that like Who's gonna care about what I think? Like you'd really be surprised. Um, so, it, it, like if you're providing value and then you also like talk about things that you like, like people will want to hear what you have to say, right? And if they like who you are, like what you have to say, they'll buy from you, right? Another thing is you learn social media. This is just such a good skill to have nowadays, right? Like for me, I learned how to do social media, and now I can essentially. If I wanted to start any sort of business, I wouldn't have to worry about the social media part of it because I already know what I'm doing, right? Uh, brands reach out to work with me to help them on their social media, right? And they pay for that. Um, and then just connecting with others that are just like you. So if you're in the creator space uh, and you start to grow your following and you start making a name for yourself, uh, a lot of creators will then reach out to you and you can build connections like that and who knows what you end up doing with those connections right and then the last thing is just make a bunch of money right i think everyone here wants to do that uh it's kind of why i wanted to do it but yeah you could just make a bunch of money with it um so that's kind of why i would say growing a personal brand is important um but it's just really up to you on how you want to do it um, but that's pretty much going to be it for the video. If you're interested in growing a personal brand and monetizing that audience, I cover every step of the process inside the community from scripting and filming to optimizing your profile and monetizing basically everything you need to know in order to grow your personal brand and make money from it as quickly as possible. Plus we have monthly group calls to make sure that your account keeps on growing and you'll also get early access to our brand new tool. That'll give you proven scripts to make it 10 times easier for you to go viral. This takes all the videos that have gotten at least over a million views in the past seven days and lets you steal their idea almost guaranteeing that you go viral every single time so if you're interested click the button to join the group we're increasing the price every 25 members so i'll see you inside